Ever wonder how companies motivate employees or what factors really impact performance at work? Two fields, organizational behavior management, also known as OBM, and industrial organizational psychology, also known as IO psychology, pursue answers to questions just like these. While both aim to enhance the human experience in organizations, OBM focuses on directly changing behaviors through applied techniques, whereas IO psychology takes a broader social science lens. This video will explore the similarities and differences in the goals and methodologies of these closely related yet distinct fields. The purpose of this video is to compare and contrast the goals and methodological approaches of organizational behavior management and industrial organizational psychology. While these related fields have distinct aims, their goals ultimately complement one another by applying psychological theory to improve workplace behaviors through OBM interventions and testing IO theories in applied organizational context through behavior change strategies. By examining the key differences and relationships between OBM and IO psychology, this video aims to provide clarity on how these fields both separately and jointly contribute to enhancing human and organizational functioning in work environments. Organizational Behavior Management, which I will refer to as OBM, and Industrial Organizational Psychology, also known as IO Psychology, are similar yet distinct fields that both aim to improve human performance and well-being in organizational settings. While OBM focuses on behavior change through principles of applied behavior analysis, IO Psychology takes a broader social science approach. The overarching goal of OBM is to apply behavior analytic principles to increase productive and decrease counterproductive behaviors at work. OBM aims to shape behaviors through antecedent manipulation and consequence-based strategies. In contrast, IO psychology has a wider scope beyond just behavior change. Its goal is to apply psychological theories and research methods to solve problems related to human behavior in work settings and enhance organizational effectiveness and employee well-being. While IO psychology may study behavior, its goals are not necessarily focused on direct behavior change interventions like OBM is. Moving on to their methodologies, as OBM and IO psychology differ based on their goals. OBM relies on behavior analytic techniques like functional assessments, ABC data collection, and single subject experimental designs to test hypotheses and evaluate behavioral interventions. Its methods are rooted in operant conditioning principles and aim to precisely measure behavior change. In comparison, IO psychology utilizes a variety of quantitative and qualitative research methods commonly found in the social sciences like surveys, interviews, field studies, and quasi-experimental designs. Its methodology allows for examination of many psychological, social, and organizational factors impacting employees and work beyond just behaviors. While OBM and IO psychology have distinct goals and approaches, their aims are ultimately related and complementary, meaning there is a relation between goals. IO psychology provides the theoretical foundations and empirical insights into human behavior and organizational functioning that inform OBM interventions. For example, research on job satisfaction, leadership styles, and motivation can guide the selection of behaviors targeted by OBM. Meanwhile, OBM interventions apply the knowledge from IO psychology research to directly enhance workplace performance. The behavior change strategies of OBM also allow IO psychologists to test theories about behavior in applied organizational contexts. Thus, the goals of understanding human behavior at work, aka IO psychology, and using that knowledge to improve it through applied methods, aka OBM, work in tandem. As the fields continue to evolve, more integration between OBM and IO psychology may occur. For instance, IO psychologists are increasingly interested in behavior change techniques, while OBM practitioners recognize the importance of measuring broader individual and organizational outcomes beyond just behaviors. Researchers have called for a closer link between the conceptual work of IO psychology and behavior analytic methods of OBM to strengthen both approaches. In summary, OBM and IO psychology both seek to improve the functioning of employees and organizations, but they take different roads to get there. OBM zeroes in on behaviors through principles of behavior analysis, while IO psychology examines a wide range of psychological and social factors impacting work. Their goals interconnect with IO psychology informing the theoretical understanding of work behaviors and OBM applying that knowledge through targeted interventions. As these fields continue advancing in tandem, their integration will likely bring about more powerful insights for optimizing human performance and well-being in organizational settings. Employees and employers alike stand to benefit from the combined efforts of these fields dedicated to improving the human experience at work.
My name is Troy, everyone. If you liked today's video, please smash that like button, subscribe to help the channel, and turn on notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss a video.